Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We have started a new series of movies reviews, in which we will tell you about the movie, what is right and what is not in this movie. Today we will give a review on The Secret Love because there is a lot of demand to give a review on it. Friends must like our videos because it takes a lot of effort to make a video. One request from all of you before starting the video. Like our videos to encourage us and we can make more great videos for you. Let's move on to today's video. Chris Boland's documentary produced by Rand Murphy is partially about decades of living in the closet but also about the perils of growing old in America. This week, Netflix will premiere a new Rand Murphy project in which characters in the 1940 century must keep their sexual orientation a secret for fear of losing their jobs and being rejected by friends and family. But we are not talking about Murphy's seven part miniseries Hollywood, which crossed some of that territory as it tells a fictional story set against the backdrop of the movie business after World War II. Murphy's other Netflix release this week is A Secret Love, a documentary directed by Chris Paul and produced by Murphy and executive produced by Jason Blum, among others. The film, which premieres on Wednesday, deals with a seven decades relationship between two women who met in 1947 when one of them was playing in All American Girl Professional Baseball League, which was later celebrated in a league of their own. A secret love spans more than 70 years in the lives of Terry Danhow and Pat Hansel, beginning when Danhow was a catcher and utility player for the Peria Red Wing. An expansion franchise that began in the fourth year of the AAG PBL's existence. For most of their times together, Dan Howe and Hanskell pretending to be their cousins or close friends, it wasn't until late in life day that they admitted the truth to their own families. And while the pain and fear that comes with living in the closet for decades having over a secret love, the film ends up being about a lot more than sexuality. In a way, the relationship between Terry and Pat is the biggest score of joy in melancholy films that shows how difficult it's to grow old in America. That may be another similarity with the Hollywood in which LGBT issues are just one thread of a much larger story. Bolin, who is Dan Howe's great nephew, enjoyed intimate access to Dan Howe, Hanskill, and Dan Howe's family following them over the course of seven years while the couple considered whether to leave their long-time home in a Chicago suburb to move into assisted living facility either in the US or back in Alberta, Canada, where they grew up. Dan House nice and Chris Willen mother, Diana Bolo wanted desperately for her beloved Aunt Terry to return to her hometown of Edmond, but Hansel resisted and family tensions grew. It's always been a competition. Diana Bolin admits of the quiet struggles for the Dan Howe affection between herself and Hansel. League of the Backstory manual is told throughout still photos, news footages, and family snapshots. This leads to a certain imbalance because the new variety footage necessarily feels more immediate than the woman's memory of times gone by, and because by the time Bolin show up with the cameras, Dana Howe and the Hansel were no longer hiding their sexuality, that the struggle of being Okay, in a hostile times, backless of a French, then the struggles of dealing with old age and its medical and housing issues. Still, that backstory is crucial. At the time they met, Dan Howe never even thought about being lesbian. Dan Howe, meanwhile, had a string of boyfriends, but her finance and two subsequent boyfriends both died, causing her she jokes to think, This is not what I mean to do. The two women fall in love almost immediately and after Dan Howe's baseball career and then they figured it would be easier to stay in the United States. While they found a supportive community there, they strayed away from a guy bar in Chicago, which were regularly raided by police who would arrest any woman who they thought was trying to dress like a man. But they were not just keeping their love secret from the cops. It wasn't until 2009 that the two women came out to their families that they were able to eventually get married in front of loving family and friends could be seen out long delayed tramp of shots. But by that point their lives were difficult for other reasons. Danho was suffering from Parkinson's and Hanskell frankly resisted moving back to Edmonton for years, but appropriate facilities near Chicago were prohibitively expensive. It came down to a blowout of shots between Diana and Pat, 
with Terry caught in the middle and Dalimana in which Daniela and Hansel would have to leave the small community of friends for whom their love was never a secret to be closure to the family for which their relationship with him was hidden. Affecting at time and downright tears jerking at other their story is tied to the saga of gay life in America over the past 70 plus years. Still, it ends up feeling less like a history lesson and more like an universal acknowledgement. Growing old with some kind of grace and peace should not be this his heart. Dear viewers, our call to introduce you every Hollywood movie and English TV series. We express your opinion in the comments below and let us know how you like our videos. Share our channel and thumbs up on our videos. If you have liked this informative video, then press the below like button and encourage us. Thanks for watching.